So last week, Mrs. Granny Gear and I, we just took a little bit of time away. We grabbed the little dog and we headed up to the central coast of California. And along the way, we got really just one good bike ride in, but I'm gonna bring you that now. This is in the San Luis Obispo area. This is a local classic to the people who ride there. This is Sea Canyon and Profumo. It's a loop, it's a 20 mile loop. You could do it on a road bike or a gravel bike. Either one would be just fine. And um, I'll put the uh, links up to the Ride with GPS and Strava. So if you want to go do that, you can start this really almost from anywhere in San Luis Obispo, depending upon where you are, where you want to ride from. We started at a trailhead at a open space area. That was a really nice place to park to start through this ride. And it was a nice loop, about 20 miles or so. Anyway, that is it. I'm bringing you Sea Canyon in Profumo. Go check it out. Go check out that whole area. It has a lot to offer San Luis Obispo and really the central coast of California. There's a ton of great riding there. All right, here we go, enjoy. Okay, I'm at the trailhead. This is, if you can see the sign, it's the Johnson Ranch open space, and it's kind of at an intersection of roads in the country-ish little part right outside of San Luis Obispo. I'm going to be riding Sea Canyon Road. Now, it's not a big ride. I think it's a 20-mile loop uh, when I plotted it out, but it really seems like it's a classic ride. And it's the kind of ride, if you were here with your family, you just had like a couple hours to get a ride in or the two of you wanted to do something uh, before brunch or whatever, I think Sea Canyon is going to be that kind of a ride. I'm going to find out. I've never ridden it. My Mrs. Granny Gear has. She talks highly of it and she knows of what she speaks. All right, I'm going to get my bike. I'm going to hit the canyon road. And uh, in the meantime, uh, yeah, I'm dressed a little jackety too. It was actually misting. It is the overcast coastal kind of weather. All right. Time to get my bike and hit the road. We'll see. Let's go see Sea Canyon. Now, I understand this is a pretty good climb, so this wouldn't be probably, I'm gonna find out. I don't think this is a ride for someone who's a very casual cyclist. I'm sure there are lots of other routes in San Luis Obispo for that. But my wife and I, we like to get out and do some hill climbs. So I think this one should be a good little morning fitness ride, huh? I don't know, we're gonna find out here. Anyway, what a beautiful canyon, huh? Look at this, wow. Look at all the poison oak. Woohoo! Isn't this beautiful in here? A little bit trafficy though, but this is during the week, so I'm gonna guess the weekend morning might be better. Although there's probably enough little ranches and wineries and stuff, apple farms back here that probably keeps the touristy stuff going. Anyway, it's beautiful. It's definitely going uphill. Still in the big ring though, but not sure for how much longer. So the road surface here isn't too bad. It's a little rough. It's kind of your basic one lane country road. Ooh, ooh, there's a little creek down there. Hard to see it. Anyway, I mean, this would be great for a road bike with, like I have the 30s, which are really 32s on here. Just about perfect. But I think this would be very good on a gravel bike as well. It's not like you're in a hurry. Okay, right about, it's just under seven miles in. Had to de-jack it because the road took a noticeable uptick. Let's see what my grade is here. Yeah, about 12% right here. Yeah, that'll do. Time to put the camera down. Ooh. Oh, 
okay. So this is running between nine and 12% grade. I don't know what miles I'm at, but getting close to the peak. I'll update at the top, but uh, yeah. Don't ride this if you're not in good shape. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of assertive in the grades. It requires you to pedal up. Good news is all the cars pretty much completely disappeared. I think I'm past all the little ranchettes and apple groves and things. All right, up to the top. Oh Lordy, okay. That's 8.2 miles. what I say it started at seven? That was only a mile? Oh, felt like more. Anyway, there's a little dirt section here. It's real short. I hear it's not a big deal. And uh, I think the descent begins here, I think. You'll know when I know. I think I'm going to jack it back up here. a lot more dirt here than I thought, including a couple little dirt climbs. Oh, according to my Wahoo, it's predicting I've got a good block of angry red coming up ahead here. Doesn't look like it's very long, but red is never good when you're climbing a hill. But speaking of the dirt, this is fine. I've got the 30s on here. I'm good with it. I mean, if you were on a gravel bike with even a moderate tire, you would be uh, in tall cotton, you know? 16% great. Oh, but look at this, huh? Ah. All socked in. Probably would be a view if I could see things. Woo, thank goodness that was short. All right, I think I'm, hopefully I'm done doing stuff like that for the morning. That was, that was hard. Yeah, my little uh, hill predictor says, it's a little green, a little flat, a little rolling, and then pretty soon we're gonna, looks like a big downhill, so I think I think we're done climbing. I'm going to uh, button up my hatches here and uh, get the camera set up. Ah, so pretty up here. Careful.
Oh man, that was awesome. What a descent, huh? Tighten switchbacky at the top. Some of those decreasing radius quarters, lots of fun. And then at the bottom, I stopped filming. It got kind of roly-poly. Got some houses and little places tucked away into the forest here. That canyon, that was amazing. That was Perfumo. Now you can see kind of out to uh, civilization here. I'm gonna drop down to Los Osos, uh, Los Osos something road. And then I'm gonna hang a right. And then I'm gonna hang another right. And I'll be back at the trailhead and I will see you there. And you know, I'm gonna put this, uh, this ride up on Strava and ride with GPS so you guys can go do this if you want to. But bring your lunch on that climb though. Uh, now, uh, I saw 16%. I think it was steeper than that for a minute because I was struggling to keep my front end from lifting off off the ground and I'm I'm pedaling a uh, 35, 36 low gear. I don't know. Okay, I got to get going and see you at the trailhead. And here we are, full circle, back at the Johnson Ranch open space, the trailhead where we started. Let's see what we got. We got 19.6 miles on the clock and let's see, what do I got? Hour and a half riding, probably a couple hours just because of all the filming and whatnot. And then uh, let's see, what did we do? 1,774 feet of ascending. So you know what? It's not bad. Kind of typical for a good training ride for where I live with a 10, you know, usually a thousand feet per 10 miles. Anyway, what a great ride. So a little bit of Los Osos Valley Road coming back. I didn't film that, just in town. That and Higuera, actually it's probably Higuera, if I'm gonna say it correctly, not be an American and speak it wrong. That was a little trafficy for sure, but you know, San Luis Obispo, they do a really good job of um, bike lanes and stuff. So actually was really not bad at all. All right, that's it, that's it. That was Sea Canyon and Profumo. Perf that's hard to say. All right, good loop. If you're in the area, it's it's a good one. You could do it the other way around too. I saw a couple riders riding up Profumo and I don't see why you couldn't do that. Maybe come down Sea Canyon. Either way, this is a good place to start from. Anyway, you guys have a great week and or weekend. Maybe you should come here and go ride your bike. We'll see you.